Hello. Today I have Jigsaw Puzzle VR by Silas Mars. Images via storyblocks.com. I don't know about them, but a uh, cool thing here. Um, so it's a it's a normal flat 2D puzzle, and you can import any photo of any size. Really doesn't matter. Uh, it works very well. There's two ways to put in your own photos, one via online, and so far that doesn't work at all. But <laughs> you can attach the uh, Quest 2 to your computer or a cell phone and uh, just drop photos right into it, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, much quicker that way, I think, anyways. So, I have already put some of my own images in here. These two were here already, so those are from Storyblocks. I started on that one because, well, it's a cool... Uh, famous Japanese um, painting, so I love it. Very kind of freaky kittens here. Now that one's mine. That's uh, from Apollo Beach. And this one is a screenshot I took from uh, the Jurassic Park Camp Cretaceous of a tiny little bumpy hanging on, hanging on a string saying hang in there after the 80s kittens kitten poster. And there's where we're going. That's one of my paintings, so we'll do this one. But before we jump into that, let's look at this. So this contraption is how you are supposed to input a URL to get a JPEG or PNG, and like this, you got to type in the whole thing, and then it'll supposed to import it. So first thing I'll tell you with this. I mean, that part's cool, great, but then, uh, I don't know, I'm just going to make up something. Um, let's, let's just, I don't know, YouTube's coming to mind, let's type in YouTube. Now, there's no actual, I'm not going to an actual image here, I'm not even going to try. But you see, um, I'm, one, I don't like that this, this is not a QWERTY keyboard. Two. You can see I, I just clicked that button about three, four times in that instance before I could get a second character. For some reason, when you hit the same character twice, it um, it doesn't like to register it. So you got to go through, you got to type out all this gibberish, which of course you're usually, you know, you're glancing through your nose hole at your cell phone trying to get this web address. And uh, you put it in, and I've tried. Oh, so many of them. Um, be fair. Let's say six to eight different websites, and uh, it just doesn't work. Uh, not a single one has been imported. Um, now, this uh, they do suggest Reddit or Imager. And uh, I tried one from Reddit. Didn't work. I did not try Imager. Uh, I really don't use Reddit or Imager. In, in general, so um, not too familiar with them, but I did try a lot of sites that had direct to the JPEG or PNG, and it just didn't work. So not too thrilled with this. So this says this, this feature, this upload is mainly for Quest users, and I think maybe this was designed for the original Quest. Um, I, I'm not sure. PC users will find it easier to simply copy an image to Pictures Jigsaw Puzzle VR. Now, that is not the right file address for your Quest 2. You will go to Quest 2 Internal Storage, Android, Data, and this is going to bring up basically every program. So I got a, I'm scrolling down, and they all start with com. So com.marsbiz, and Mars is with two R's, but you know, just look for Marsbiz. Then that comes up, and we will hit Files, and Jigsaw Puzzle VR. And now there, any image you put in there is going to show up here. And I should say almost any image. I did have a trouble with this one, in that looking at my file name, um, boop, boop, boop. Looking at my file name for this file, originally it had .jpg, but they were all capitalized. 
so I had dropped a bunch of pictures in here, and two of them had capital JPG. The others all had lowercase JPG. Now, I'm not a computer person, I guess. I mean, I'm a little bit, but I don't know the minutia of files. So I don't know what the difference is between a capital and a lowercase JPG. But the lowercases all showed up here fine, and the capital did not. So I had to resave it as a JPG again, and then it saved with the lowercase, and now it's here. So goody goody. Now, um, there's a couple of options here. So let's see. That's that's just the credit wall. Thank you, Silas, for making this. You, sir, did well. Um, delete current open puzzle from device permanently. So if you want to delete something, you take it, you put it here, and then you hit that button. Place puzzle box here to reset progress. So what's going to happen? We're going to put this here, and the pieces are going to, and the puzzle box is going to show up there. So I guess if you take your box and you drop it there, then it'll reset everything. Um, alternatively, once we put this here, a green spot will show up here. So then if you take your puzzle box, you put it there, it saves your progress. So we have several choices here of things before we get into this. So we have change shape. Um, and I believe, so my understanding from something I read on uh, about the game is that it just kind of auto chops these things up as you drop it in there. And so I, it just doesn't matter what you put in there. It's kind of like rogue light, but for puzzles, <laughs> it's just does it on the fly. So I guess if you wanted to change the shape of your pieces, you could just and do that. Um, recall pieces. I, I'm I guess if you got pieces everywhere, maybe that brings them back to the table. Um, face player. This is nice because once once we do this, it's going to be a big old mound of pieces and it makes them all face you. And then to start with, you can click just show the edge pieces versus all the pieces. Also super handy. Lighting. Oh, you know what? I forgot I can bring this to me too. So lighting. Lighter. Darker. Wow. Okay, I guess that's as dark as it gets. Um, I don't know that I'd want to do a puzzle in that light. Yeah, I like lightness. So, also have a puzzle tilt, or a, I'm sorry, a table tilt. So, this little guy can come all the way up to there. Also, super handy. Um, cause for me, I do not like, um, having my head cranked downward it hurts my neck and back. And then you have gravity off and on for the pieces. And that means they will either maliciously float about, <laughs> um, or, or not. Uh, and there's goods and bads to that. 80 pieces. Now you can click this down, you can click this up and it weirdly goes in not, you know, like it went from 70 to 80, then 80 to 88, now to 99. I, I, I don't even know why, what sense this makes. Um, I suppose there's some algorithm to make it fill in, and, and it's just however many pieces it, it needs to fill in. I, I don't know. Um, cool thing, though. Now, I have two other games. I have Puzzling Places and Jigsaw 360. Puzzling Places maxes out at 400 pieces. Um, Puzzling Places maxes out at 200. And both those companies or individuals responsible, I have seen note that above that quantity, they have trouble with the Quest 2's processing ability. Now, this developer, Silas, specifically said on his, I believe, Discord, or maybe his website, I'm not sure, I saw it somewhere, that he did not put a limit, but that he feels, you know, maybe over 400, you're going to probably start having slowdown. So, um, uh, I don't remember what puzzle. I did a puzzle, and I did it like a little over 400, and it worked okay. Now, there was like when you moved your vision, there was ooh, a little hitch to that, 
but a lot of times you're not moving your vision so much, you're just grabbing pieces and assembling them. Um, so as long as I didn't dramatically move my head, I was okay. Um, and then I did try and record some of that, and that got really choppy too. That really strained the system. So for the sake of this, um, tell you what, for the sake of this, let's drop that down actually back where we were, maybe even less. And we can just do this whole little puzzle. Come on, buddy. And you see, this is as slow as the keyboard. I am like rapid tapping this thing, and it's just slower than molasses as far as um, clicks go. I don't know. At least do 42. Okay. So, I believe... <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Edge and all. Um, now, cool thing, you can make your pieces really big. Wow. I wonder if there's a limit. Oh my god. They're gonna come off the table. Okay. I wonder if there's a tiny limit. I, I was doing a, a, you know, like I said, a 400 piece puzzle. So the other day I was kind of playing with it, making them bigger, and then it just got absurd. So I stopped. I like Silas. Silas put no limits. This is great. Okay. So that's silly. Obviously, you, you can't do that puzzle. You, you probably can't even. Oh my God, I clicked on it. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta make that bigger. Oh my goodness, that's awesome though. You would need like a magnifying glass to make that work. Come here, thing. So yeah, did that fall on the floor? I guess not. It must have, must have ended up back on the table. Okay, let's try face player. Boom. Cool. Recall pieces. Get some back on the board. Change shape. Yeah, you can just watch like one individual piece and see that it's just changing shape. All right. And you can tilt the table with this like this, but you can see like those pieces, they, they flopped about. So you got to be careful if you get everything out nice and neat. Sometimes you move the table and the pieces jumble about. Also, um, sometimes if you quit and restart, when you restart, the pieces sometimes dislodge from the table and, and fly everywhere. Um, believe me, I had, that, I had that happen with my 400 piece the other day, and that was really not cool. Um, but it wasn't all the pieces. It was just some of the pieces. As long as you're really sure, like, um, that you get them stuck to the table, then you're fine. Uh, let's see. Let's just do edges. And let's do the gravity bit. So you can see any of them that were not stuck firmly to the table have now floated a little bit. And it's not like they float all over the room. Um, so you can pick them up, click with your stick. And then you can pull them towards you. Um, so the stick makes them face you, uh, even if they're. Let's see if I can here. Click right face you, and even just tilting, you know, it's nice just get them right towards you. And you can double fist this if you want, and you can literally pull every piece you want up here in front of you. No big deal. Now, let's see, this being my painting without looking, I feel like I remember most of it. It has been a minute. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. And um, I was having some issues like going in that way that sometimes they won't click. That one just did really well. Um, but I find it going that way totally makes them click 100% of the time without question. Because um, if you've seen my 
uh, Jigsaw 360 video. Um, I have a lot of trouble in that game. Now, boy, that just frustrates the living tar out of me, uh, trying to get that thing to work all the time. And uh, this does not have those issues for the most part. I think I had once or twice where um, there was a little bit of annoyance, but oh, that one I don't know. Oh, that is over there. And that's a good um, thing. You see that I just, I bumped it with a piece and it just floats about. So as you're doing this, weirdly, a lot of times I will push this through. I, I was doing it the other day and I didn't have issues um, on a lot of them. And I think, you know, somet sometimes there's really good, like there. Okay, so I, I went through several times and, and most of the times it interacted, but at least once there, it just flew right through and nothing happened. So you can have a situation where you knock your pieces around and that can get obnoxious. <laughs> but, um, it doesn't always happen. Uh, I, I, one of the reviews on Quest, guy complained about the floaty pieces, and the developer actually said he did that intentionally. And I, I know as I'm reading it, I was going, okay, I, it sounds weird, but I haven't played it yet, so I didn't really understand. And now that I've played it, I'm going, why would you do this? Why on earth would you do this intentionally? Um, I mean, I get that it's cute and physics and all, but it's not cohesive to a puzzle and certainly not one with um, a lot of uh, pieces. And maybe, you know, this is a very small puzzle. This is not a problem. But when you get, say, 400 pieces going, that uh, is a huge problem. Because uh, even as you assemble your border and then maybe you're moving your border around, you have pieces, pieces, pieces. What, what are you you're doing is you're smacking all your pieces and then you look up and all your pieces are out of whack. Or even that, I just, I just bumped that thing. Um, there's so many times that you slap your pieces and then they're just out of whack and, and that's really frustrating. That's a, a horrible, horrible option. Um, at no point should the pieces smack the other pieces and cause them to float about or spin about really dumb um all right let's get the rest of these guys here Woo! oh wow all right gravity uh and and making them face you just does not work oh there we go three tries we got it so um other cool thing here is you get your percentage completion right there and you can pull this if you, you want your little cheat sheet close, you can have it there. I don't need it, obviously. I mean, this is my, my own painting, so I mostly know. So then you get to see your picture all huge. You can make it really, you can even make it bigger and smaller now that it's in a thing, but once you do, you do get your puzzle outline back. It doesn't stay as a clean image. Um, and then you get the done. Oh. <laughs> all right. Um, oh my God. Well, that's a new glitch. My my big button just vanished. 
entirely. I don't even I don't even have a big button anymore. Um well that's that's a special one. Alright, well we're done with this kit anyway, so let's put it there. Huh. I don't know what to do about that other than to stop and restart. You know, there's no uh, music, there's no audio, which is kind of an odd thing. Uh, you can't move about the room, which mm -hmm, I would prefer. I would prefer the freedom you get in puzzling places where you can... Um, I can't remember, you hold a couple, I just do it automatically now. You hold a couple buttons and you can pull yourself around the room. Obviously, in that and this, in any game, I, I prefer just to have smooth movement with a thumbstick. But in this case, that you know, you do in the puzzle games, you are using your thumbsticks to rotate pieces and stuff. So I understand the puzzling places, two button motion situation, and it works okay. It's fine. So I'm all right with that. Um, but just, you know, you're here. And so if you do drop a piece or you know, you have 400 pieces, they, they spread out and you want precise movement. And all you have here is this jumpy turning crap. And there's nothing, well, there, there's probably some things, but that's jumpy turning crap is high on my list of hates in VR. If you enjoy jigsaw puzzles, absolutely buy this. You know, you can play your own music. And uh, I think the, the only trouble uh, I have had, and let's, oh, whoa, did I just do? I just, arg, arg is what I say. Um, so we'll boop, reset. Oh my. Okay. Now see that when, when I saved my puzzle the other day and I restarted, that is what happened. And my pieces that were on the board just shot up and out and it was highly obnoxious. Uh, cool thing though, with this one versus say jigsaw 360, take your puzzle, put it there, take it back, put it here. All those pieces are in the exact same spot. Now, the exception being, I, I just wouldn't use the table that much. Um, cause as you use the table, uh, this sort of shooting up situation can happen. Um, as well as, so you see this, uh, you put them down on the table and they're, they supposed to do this where they flatten out and attach to the table. And I think part of the problem comes if you, you know, maybe you think you have it on the table, but it's not quite. And that, that right there is the other thing, is you get further out, um, that, you can see my hand, the subtlety of my hand moving. There are spaces on this board, particularly further out, where you are just going to fall through. Now, if you do that and let it go, oh, you can't get that piece back. How do you get that piece back? Um... Well, the way I did it the other day, because I didn't want to hit recall pieces, because again, I was on a 400 piece puzzle and I had a lot of pieces spread about and I didn't want them all to be in a heap in the middle again. That would have been really aggravating. So, uh, basically I waited until near the end of the puzzle and um, turned on gravity. And any pieces that were below fell to the floor. And you could see that one that was way over there. And now it, I, I guess it puts them back once they're on the floor. I wonder if that always works. You gonna stay there? Nope. Oof. So yeah, after a few seconds on the floor, they're automatically gonna come back to the table. So that's cool. But if you have gravity off, it doesn't work and your piece literally just stays up under here under the table. Now I am sitting on my couch and I am in my um, little circle border here. So I cannot physically get on the floor or then I'm in pass through and I can't see anything. So I have no way right now to um, get those pieces without getting up, 
changing my border situation, and then I suppose I could look under. Maybe I could get the piece. I don't know. Um, and even the developer said in one of his uh, responses to a review that the game was basically made to play in the air, and he didn't really use the table much, so he didn't know about those that problem right there. Uh, so I did specifically want to point that out. Now, if you're careful, or if you have gravity on, you just drop the piece, it's fine. But I was doing this with gravity off, and so then when you put your piece down, you're looking to kind of slap it down to get it go flat, and whoops. And um, anyways, when you're, whoa, when you're doing that, it's, and you may notice some like, like little twitchies going on there, and I, you know, most people can be a little twitchy. Uh, I certainly can be a little twitchy. And when my hands are floating out in front of me and I'm trying to, oh, now see that one? I really did not mean to do that. And there it is. It's it's under the table and that's that. If you're careful or just use the air, don't use the table, you'll be fine. Uh, definitely a minimal issue. And you can certainly get those pieces back just by turning. Um, yep, yep, there it is. Here, there's my little guy just by turning gravity on. Um, I did have an issue the other day where I dropped down in height and then later on I came back up. That was, you know, not a, not a big problem, a little like, whoa, what happened? But it only happened once in the 400 piece puzzle thing and, and it was fine. I'd say little jittering pieces, that's kind of weird. Um, not the end of the world. But uh, I would, I would love to see the spinny thing go away. Like if I put my piece there, I just I just want it to stay there. Uh, it doesn't need to react every time something accidentally bumps it like that. It's ridiculous. Why why was that a feature? Not a feature. That's a glitch. This little guy will not come off the table totally stuck it um i believe connects these two with the dark gray but i can't make it happen i'm gonna try shutting down coming back seeing if that works so i just loaded back up and everything kind of went to hell uh i got pieces flying all over not uh like nothing really stayed on now good news is i got this off bad news and this is a, another glitch is that sometimes you grab a piece and it doesn't grab it straight out like say when you grab this the piece is there now this piece uh and this is pushing back and forth on a control stick so i can still do it there that's fine but you see as i rotate it's like way out there in this huge elliptical um, thing, whereas here, you know, even out there, you're you're just supposed to spin the piece, not take it for a journey. Um, in any case, fixing that usually just means re-grabbing the piece, but it is a glitch. Hello. So there's one more problem, and I did not get footage of it. Um, I could, but I'm too lazy, so it's not happening. <laughs> But about 10 times in, say, a 300-piece puzzle, uh, what will happen is you'll reach out, you'll click to grab a piece, and it, it will vanish. Just poof, instantly vanish. But the thing is, it really hasn't vanished. It's kind of teleported. Um, so... <laughs> What seems to happen when you occasionally grab a piece is it is it goes from way out there to boom, like where you are, your body position, um, and sometimes even way further behind you. Uh, so if you click a piece and it's instantly gone, stop, look down, turn in a circle, see if you see it. If it's right here behind you, which is usually most often where it is, you can just grab it and turn back and you're fine. Um, sometimes it'll be like down on the floor, way behind you, or half in the couch or something. 
Um, if it does seem to collide with other objects like the couch or if it gets to the floor, it will reset to the table in six seconds. Um, more often than not, I can find the piece real quick and just grab it myself. Um, or it resets to the table without issue. Um, there have been once or twice where I got to the end of a puzzle and I'm just missing a couple pieces and they, they've not come anywhere. So then you hit that, um, mm, reset pieces. That's the name of the button. You hit reset pieces and poof, they're there at the table. So is it game breaking? No. Obnoxious? Yes. Um, especially, you know, you got all these pieces going around you, you're, and it's just, and sometimes, real fun, when you, you know, say I'm, I did my border, I've got this huge section of puzzle put together, and it's really big, and then you grab that, and the whole thing comes flying at you in, like, in, in poof vanish mode, um, thing is then you gotta turn around, you gotta grab it, you gotta reposition it without smacking all your floating pieces really inconvenient um and you know i'm i'm ballparking 10 times i did not count uh if for the obnoxious level it is it does seem like it's more often okay for 4.99 in the app lab jigsaw puzzle vr by silas mars thank you silas mars this is a good game and a good effort um uh, I do hope you continue to to advance it and, um, gosh, what would I say, free movement or at least uh, the ability to not snap turn. Boy, I hate snap turn. Overall, you've got a darn good game here, and uh, I look forward to doing a lot of puzzles here. I probably will not be using Jigsaw 360 anymore uh, unless I have an equilateral puzzle, uh, equal, what is that, equal rectangular puzzle where it's in the ball ball form because this is just such a better functioning form and I don't have to resize my puzzles to put them in I can just drop them in it works great um okay um enjoy <laughs>